Okay, so this video is about finding a missing data point. If I know a lot about the data set, like if I know the average, or I know multiple parts within that set. So for example, it says, Sophie scored a 92, 88, 86, and a 96 on her four recent tests. What must she score on her fifth test so that her average is 92? Now you can figure this out. You can play with numbers and figure out what you have to add up to be the fifth number to get an average of 92. Um, but this one, you, what I want you to be able to do is write an equation for it. So in order to write the equation for it, you basically take all the numbers that you do know, 92, 88, 86, 96, and the fifth test score you don't know, so I'm call it X. We need to take all those numbers and divide it by five, because you got one, two, three, four, five test scores now. That average should give you 92. So that's the equation I write that allowed me to solve for x. To solve that equation, you could simply cross multiply, as in multiply this side by 5, and you'll wind up getting this. So I can multiply both sides by 5 so that these 5s cancel each other out, because that's really 5 over 1, so they cancel each other out. And this is 5 times 92, which should be. Um, I think it's, I plug in my calculator, I think that's 460. Yes, yeah, so that's 460. That's going to equal to all of that added up plus X. Now, I want to keep writing this over and over. So I'm going to add up 92 plus 88 and 86 and 96. And then add X to it. So this sum is 362 plus X equals to 460. Our final goal is to figure out what X is. So you subtract 362 from both sides. X should be, I think it was 98. Yeah, so it's 98. So her fifth score, fifth test score, her fifth test score needs to be a 98. And that's it. So I can keep giving you more of them, but basically you just take all the data that you have, call the only data you don't have X, divided by the total number of data in that set, in this case it's five, and it's going to equal to the average and then you cross multiply by that number at the bottom. And then you solve for x. That's it. That's all I have. Good luck.